Hello and welcome to Bowls of a TV. Let's take a look at what's been making the headlines this week. A spectacular new feature is being added to the Bowls Over Lantern Parade. Enjoy pumpkin carving without the mess at Cresswell Crags. An Awareness Month hopes to help people become cyber secure. And spooky goings on are happening at Bowls Over Castle. Earlier this year, Council Leader, Councillor Steve Fritchley, outlined an ambition to regenerate Plesley Vale, which was approved. The cotton mills and heavy industrial past of the area has long gone, and the focus is now on exploring the benefits associated with the local historical attractions and natural built environment that surround the Vale. But to help preserve the mill's past, a project team is hoping to create an historical archive of Plesley Vale. They've already amassed a good amount of material, but want your help and want you to come forward with photographs, videos or artefacts of the local area. It's a very historical place, it's been there a couple hundred years and, and we want to capture everybody's information, everybody's that knows about the history, whether the pictures, videos, whatever they've got, because the, the mills and the surrounding area and the river we want to protect all that. We're trying to look at ways of regenerating the mills and the pond and the biodiversity down there. And we will then have a living, living exhibition of Plesley Vale and all its history. And the mills, they're lovely. They're tucked away down there. There's, there's three mills. There's the old grease works. There's two lodges that we hope to, to do up and bring back into into use, they're listed, the lodges are listed, the mills are not listed, but there's also a great biodiversity around there. The landscape and the forests up on the top of the escarpment that looked after by the Forest Commission. So, and we've got a project officer, um, Kay Gregory, senior planning officer, now seconded for three years to, to look at a master plan so that we can retain the mills, retain the people down there, but introduce whether it be a cafe, a museum, we'll introduce things so we can get tourists down there. So they can come to Plesley Mills, they can come to Plesley Colliery, see that in steam, they can come to Grasswell Crags, Hardwick Recall, Bolsover Castle, all the things that Bolsover Dish has got to offer for the tourists. Bolsover Lantern Parade is marking its 30th anniversary this year and will be holding a special event on Friday the 1st of December. Bolsover the Winter Festival will become a new fixture for the parade and will include a winter market, the parade itself and bright winter lights and an immersive event that will take place within the castle walls. Light projections, images and sounds from the last three decades will be projected onto the castle walls and feature some of the stories and experiences from those who have took part in the parade over the last 30 years. We're going to be uh, doing, well, lighting up the castle, really, so there'll be some projection happening on the Friday night. So it is a pilot, it's the first time we've tried it, um, and we've been working really closely with local communities, we've been working with the Freedom Project to generate some ideas, stories, memories of the last 30 years of the Lantern Parade, and then we'll be projecting them on different bits of the castle. So I'm not, I don't want to give too much away, um, but it will be, we'll start quite, quite low-key, and then we're going to build it over the next few years, and the idea is it will kind of fill the castle walls with the community's voices, memories, um, all that kind of stuff, and art and creativity. In the main um, riding school, we'll be doing a commissioned film that will happen there, and then we'll be projecting on the little castle. What people can expect from it is just an opportunity to kind of remember, to look at some of the old images from the 80s. We've got some really great old photographs that we're kind of going to use as part of the film and as part of the projection, and just to kind of remember and sort of maybe their first lantern parade, the first moment they saw it, the first moment you engaged with it, and maybe the first time you even made a lantern and carried it home caref carefully, ready for the, for the night of the lantern parade. So I suppose the Friday night is a kind of, I suppose a curtain raiser for the lantern parade and just an opportunity for us to come together, for us to light this beautiful building up um, with memory stories and hopefully create some new memories for the future. Head to Cresswell Crags to enjoy pumpkin carving. Avoid the mess at home by joining these sessions with all tools and templates provided. For just £4 per pumpkin, 
you can join these drop-in sessions without worrying about the mess. October is Cyber Security Awareness Month. There are webinars taking place across the month, all of which are free to attend, covering password management, multi-factor authentication, recognising and reporting phishing, and updating software. You can find out more by following the link on screen. Residents are reminded they can access a range of council services online. Head to the self-service portal for a range of services such as reporting a missed bin, paying your council tax or letting us know that a public litter bin needs emptying. There is a huge range of online services available to make things quicker and easier for you. And for those of you that like a fright on Halloween, Bolsver Castle might be the place for you to go. For anyone brave enough, they are holding ghost tale tours after dark from the 28th to the 31st of October. Strictly not for those with a nervous disposition, the tales will introduce you to the ghostly goings on behind the castle walls and tell you tales of the supernatural occurrences that have been experienced there. We went along in the day to find out more. So this is the beer cellar and this is one of the most haunted rooms in the castle. Uh, we now lock up in pairs, um, quite often we will hear uh, singing, humming. This set of stairs here is completely roped off for us and the public. Yep. Um, it's quite an eerie place, when we have to clean it we have to be very careful a couple of members of staff have actually felt somebody gently push. Oh my goodness. Um, so we always do cleaning in pairs down here as well. So now we come through to the kitchens. People have felt the presence of a small boy down here mm. and a paranormal expert visited the site a couple of weeks ago. He actually took a photograph of the fireplace and there was a, a, like a mist of, of a figure stood to the right hand side of the fireplace. Oh, wow. you know, these things that a lot of people have reported seeing over the years, visitors and other, other staff? Yes, we do have a book um, on re reception um, where people can document what they've experienced and the same things come up again and again. So this story uh, happened to a very dependable, uh, together, not given to flights of fancy, member of staff. And we didn't actually find out about this until a few days after it happened, when we asked her to come and open the site up again. She was on her own, she came to this top floor, and round about this point here, which is the lantern room, she became aware of noises, of sounds, of people having a party, clinking of glasses, merriment, song. And then she said she heard the sound of a stone being dropped onto the floor. And then it went completely quiet. Ooh, I don't know about you, but that certainly sent shivers down my spine. And it seems a great way to spend a scary Halloween. But I'm afraid that's all I've got time for this week. Please join us next week and we'll have loads more stories from across Bolsworth District. But from me and the team, goodbye.